this is no holds bar. We're not holding anything back. So if you've ever pissed off either one of these people, we're calling you out. No, that's not true. We are here at the National Crappie League Championship. And uh, actually, we're here with uh, John Harrison. He fished in the tournament. Oh, yeah. He's Ooh, beautiful yeah. yesterday, dude. Oh, I yeah. didn't oh, see you wearing for, shorts or anything <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah. But you couldn't ask yeah, for a better day. You couldn't ask for a better day. You couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah. 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 You probably yeah. can't see his face, but it's actually like windburned. He oh, needs yeah. to go put oh, yeah. some medication on it. But oh, it, it wasn't for the, the week yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I walked out of the hotel room yesterday morning. I said, boy, I wish I was fishing today. Yeah. It was a tough one. That's one of those days you're like, oh, honey, yeah, I'll go fix the sink or whatever. right. Right. Day. <laughs> he said. He said they took one over the front of the boat right, right off. Right, the right, right, right off. Yeah, we took oh, one nice. over. Kevin, 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 Kevin was soaked. He was soaked all day. Soaked all so day. You, uh, you've actually just made Kevin mad right away. Oh yeah, he, 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 he was. really. Hey, he was tough though. I told him. I told him. We went back to the trailer, but he said, "No, we're here. We're going to tough it out. Tough it out." Yeah, we had a decent day. It wasn't a great day by no means, but uh, I mean, anybody caught fish yesterday in this tournament, I recommend them because that was pretty harsh conditions yesterday. It's pretty tough. Now, Mark, you didn't have to fish because you're here uh, with your actually, company at the expo in uh, 68 degrees. Yeah, we came in yesterday morning. It was like warm in here. I'm like, dang, <laughs> it's pretty nice. I'd take my jacket off, you know. It's dang nice in yeah, here. Yeah, we were standing yeah, we out were back, back waiting away. I was yeah, like, just let me in the field. It was cold. It's cold. Yeah. We'll get to that part. We'll get to the expo. We'll get to Mark. And yeah. he's, 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 kind of, uh, he's kind of squirreled away some products that he's not. He's yeah. like holding yeah. to himself not really release them but we're going to make him tell us we're going to make him give us the shout out on that the 411 5011 whatever give us some numbers but uh how'd you get to this championship how'd you get uh, we here fished, uh, we, we fished, fished we the fished, uh, trail all year, trail year long, long. Uh, uh, i think we had think one we had really one bad tournament, really bad tournament. Uh, uh, i say bad I we say bad. we finished outside, we finished the, top outside the top 10 uh, the rest uh, of them we rest finished them inside, inside the top 10 every tournament every tournament uh, i think we're I think sitting we're in set third or fourth in uh, angler to year point right now right now but you know that's you know that's part of it i commend people like jojo baker and hayden i think jojo won angler of the year and hayden won his tournament yesterday with a six sack when I say that, I mean that almost mean, three pound almost average, three pound average uh, in that uh, harsh condition. That that's, that's just that's unbelievable. unbelievable. He's, he's, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. You were there. You, you were in the boat. I saw, in the boat. I saw I you, Jojo, Jojo and him. And yeah, you, was know in the the boat. you know the condition in yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was the day you wanted to be at home doing honeydews, man. And you'd been happy to do any honeydew she had for you. I mean, but it was tough conditions. Following Hayden with the drone. I had my drone up and I was following Hayton, and actually, uh, not that the drone was having trouble keeping up with him, but he was moving, yeah. and I had to oh, move yeah. it. Oh, like, yeah. it, I had him locked, and it, it was moving. My, well, you know, know, well, most you know, the guys most nowadays, guys, that's nowadays, what you do. What you, you cover do. a lot you of water. You run that trolling motor on 10, and, and some of us some of us were just, were, were you know, just, we were stuck where we were yesterday. We and Hayden just got out there and fought. I mean, we had happened to have his mother and a couple other guys was neighbors that has watched him grow up. Uh, right. hang, hang around the booth a little bit yesterday afternoon waiting on the way in right. and the one guy told me he says he's got this because this is where he wants to fish everybody else is hiding from the wind he's going to be in the middle of it wow and he's he got a big 521 ranger uh, or 522. something uh, 522 oh, 522 oh, 522 he's redone it and it's a battleship he's got it rigged and it's a battleship he's ready yeah. for it he's ready for it mm. amazing stuff well, Mark, we're going to let you spill the beans. Gonna, you tell us about that stuff that you, that's we're, new for this year that's come out. We're working on. I don't even know. We're, we're calling oh. it. Uh, we're calling it a uh, a, a, a plate mount and a and shelf mount. So a lot of the newer boats coming out now have a little shelf behind the steering wheel before it gets into the console. Right. And we've got a track system that mounts on that, and oh. it's, it's got arms coming off of it, and they swing around. Your unit swings around. It's got all kinds. I haven't not seen it any is, others. It is super cool. Oh. It is it multi. So it's like transformers. Yeah, it, it looks boat. like a robot yeah. arm. Yeah. I yeah, thought I'll, about calling it the robot, you know, because uh, and then we got it. We got another one. You call it the one. transfer thing. I I want yeah. my. 
percentage on loyalty. <laughs> it's called transformer. Called transformer. transformer. If it comes it, out transformer, it, it, I'll do a whole <laughs> podcast show on why that. It's I should get uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a game changer in the way it functions. I mean, you can move these graphs around. Sometimes, you know, some people are running nine inch graphs. Some people are running twelve. Some people are running two sixteen. Like like Joe Floyd. Joe's running two big sixteen inch apex up there. And and the way you can maneuver them and get them out of your sight where you can see. Because I mean, that's becoming a problem. We can't see with these big electronics nowadays in front of us, even up front. So Joe's running two sixteens, like he's saying. And the top of the unit to the top of the console is maybe three inches. Yeah. Wow. But it's yeah. a 16-inch unit, the way, you can, the way I can them. adjust them down. Adjust them. And then I was, I was at it, the first show I took it to here a while back, we went to um, the East Tennessee Fishing Show. And I like to walk around and look at all the new boats once right. we get set up, talk to some of the dealers and this and that. Well, we got a little bit of time. And this one that I'm calling the shelf mount, it dawned on me at that show, we can mount that on the bridge, put it on the front of the boat. And right. you can take the units up or you can lay them down and you can swing them around. So I was showing oh, John wow. this morning. So say you're wanting to run two big 16-inch units or bigger on the front, right. and but your trolling motor's in the way. You, you can't, can't get your you trolling can't. motor in. Yep. You can loosen the knob and swing that one over and pull your trolling motor in, put your trolling motor back in, swing it back out. That's a good deal it's because a, the Lawrence Ghost has that the tubing that's supposed yep. to hold the cable and it doesn't hold. So you might want to fix that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't hold in there. The first time you pull it up, the start of the day, it flops out of those yep, two so, little brackets, and so you'd be able to swing that over. Right. Then, then we got out of the way. That troll motor can come right back in and right back in. We got another model that'll mount on the plate. So you, you know, they put a plate in the dash. You take the unit out of the dash and put a plate in it. We call that the plate model. I've teamed up with Precision Sonar. They're uh -huh. they're in my neighborhood. Been right. dealing with them for a long time. We work back and forth together. Yeah. They have all the plates for every boat imagine i mean way back uh -huh. to who knows what to brand new boats the new really? boats they get the they get the math they send them the, the details so right. oh, i'm right. not getting in on that i work with those guys so what we're going to do if you need a plate we're going to have a link going to their website and you'll be able to get what you need from them so we're going to wow. have and that one you can it's got an extra knuckle in it and all that i mean it's It'll do it's crazy. Pretty cool. so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You can either take those 16s and drop them down like we did on Joe's boat, or you can put one up and turn it around so you can see it from the front. I mean, it's right. I don't know. Just and those conditions just with, with all that water coming over the water front of the boat, you just pull them together. Pull them big together. 16s <laughs> and that thing be a shield. shield. shield boy. Use that to block the wind. Yeah. So, That's yeah. what Kevin's for. Yeah. You yeah. would say, okay, you hey. come hold the net right here, yeah. like yeah. hold the net, and you could be back behind them. I saw. I saw you, Kevin. Hey. I saw you, Kevin. I saw you fishing some. I saw you take a break, and yeah, I saw him he, run he up there and fish. Fish. He, fish. he grabbed that, that diamond series. He's up there fishing. Yep. I was like, look yep. at that. He's trying to get, because I was in the other boat. He's yeah. like, he's trying yeah. to catch one so he can show it to me <laughs> to get the photo so he can get the credit. But I, yeah. saw, I, saw, yeah. I saw a lot of netting going on oh, in your yeah. boat. We caught a lot of fish, 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 fish uh, in them conditions. But conditions but just wasn't on the right grade right, 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 We caught right. fish all day fish long. Day long. Uh, yeah. fish, you know what the problem That lake is a fine lake. It's got a lot of big, it's got a lot of big crop in it. It's, it's a place if you want to eat. It's a place to go. Oh, it's a rich environment. It's target friendly. Target friendly. Target friendly for sure. So your boat has some of Mark's products on there. Yeah. I'm running all Mark's products. Just go out on it. Anything from the rock. Launcher, launcher where I can, where I can if, if I need to turn around to turn do around something, to do I can just set my rod, just set my rod in, in okay. and hold my rod, hold my rod, lay it down, down on the deck of the motor or anything. anything. And I'm running and double I'm running mount up front. Up front. Uh, and I've uh, run several I've run of the several fold down, down mount he makes was my favorite. favorite. I ran it for a long time because I'm running a 16 and two 12s up front, and I couldn't see going down the lake with that in the front of the boat. And that fold down mount, monitor mount, folds down completely flat to the deck. In it place. So, in now, place. so now my trolling my motor trolling is motor higher, is on, higher on, my on my deck than my than the mounts my, were. The and I love it. And, and, and uh, he wanted me to try the, the, uh, uh, the extended mount. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's one of our test pilots. <laughs> and I look, I tried to look, I tried to get it. was not designed for a 16 and 212. I destroyed it. And he would he would like build me other parts. That's the thing about it. When Mark makes a product and builds a product, it doesn't go out to the consumer like, hey, here it is, we built it, take it back. No. 
No, we beat we the beat fire the out of them. We try to tear them up. The, the new uh, one with uh, all the arms on it, I got one on Joe Floyd's Joe boat. Is, I don't Joe know how is, well you know Joe. Oh, I know Joe Floyd. He can tear up an anvil with a rubber hammer. So yeah. what I'm saying, what I'm saying is before, it's, before, before it's, it goes on the market out to the consumer, we have tested these things tremendously. Weren't we in the boat on Sardis with Joe Floyd? Me and you? And he had that had some sort of test rod that was in there and it looked like a, proto, a joe a it looked like a joe floyd thing yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, all the eyes uh, on the thing but <laughs> that was uh that, that, was, that was the uh, 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 b&m uh, pose, pose 18, 18 foot diamond the new yeah, diamond, the new diamond, diamond rod, rod. that's one which prototype 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 which is funny he's like can you He's like, can you cast? I'm just gonna troll you over to the fish. And I'm oh, like, yeah. No, oh, no, no, yeah. no. I'm I'm gonna cast this yeah. thing. Yeah. I guess you caught not a bunch of fish. That day. I did catch some fish. I remember. I remember. I remember. I did. I you guys were sitting there. Fish. You guys were sitting there taking pictures of me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't need to take pictures of me. I know where you're going to put that. I mean, I, I don't need no crap. All right, it was a good time. Right, I like eating time, more, and I like having my picture taken with them. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Talking about the cable. Oh, all right. Oh, the cable oh, steer. Um, you know how a lot, you know of, guys how a lot of guys nowadays, nowadays are putting, are putting the over-the-side the mouth, the hand mouth, control yeah. for the uh -huh. live scope. Yep. Uh, Mark has uh, Mark made, has one, made one, one now, now, and actually I'm going to put one on my boat. I run in two live on my boat all the time. I run one in perspective mode, and then I run the other one in forward-facing sonar. But he's made this one when you got your graphs here in front of you, we like to be able to zoom in, zoom out real quick, so I try to keep them here in front. But it's got a bracket that comes off, and it's got a dial knob, a big knob that you can knob, turn, you and, can what turn does, and what it does is it mounts to the side of your trolling side, motor trolling or over the side, every side you want to mount it, but you can but actually you can turn actually it with your hand versus, versus hand having to take a hand control and move it. So where that's so good where that's is, good is say you're a brush pile fisherman, fisherman or a state bed fisherman, when you pull up there and you spot lock your trolling motor into the wind and your brush pile's over here to the side, you can actually just turn and dial it how you want it and fish. You're keeping the line keep on it all the time while your trolling motor's holding you right here even though it's mounted to your trolling motor. Makes sense. Yeah, oh yeah. It's, uh, yep. it's, it's, uh, a it's, it's a game changer, and uh, we're going to put uh, one on my boat. On my boat. Uh, I have it at the uh, house now. I just have it installed it yet. And, and that will work with, uh, say, like uh, the Garmin or the Lawrence Ghost, yep. but yep. also like uh, the ones that pull and slide down uh, that much. We can put it on everything except for the Altera, Altera okay. and uh, the Tarova because of cable management okay, on, yeah. on our thing. But the rest but, of them, we already got the mounts. It'll he also makes an over makes side mount that you can mount it on too. Like you normally know, like right. right. hand, hand, hand scope. Okay. Yeah, you can put it in that, and then he can swing it in out of the boat and all that stuff. I had that one. That was new for last year, but for right. some reason, it's been a really slow starter. And... Uh, um, now it's we, we we sold a lot of them this weekend. So. There's a lot of people walking around. Around. Yeah, around. Yeah, this is <laughs> this the expo. Busy. So we're at the expo. Yeah. Marks, yeah. Marks hey, you know what? Expo. Let's talk so. about that for a second. This has been really good. Okay, I've been it to has some been. some, some bigger seven. venues and some different things, and I didn't do near what we done here. And we didn't have. I I don't felt like we had a super huge crowd yesterday but it was right. steady all day long and we done really well i mean right. i sold all the cable savers you know right. i wasn't here until we came in i was surprised at the people that were here, that were here. Uh, when we came, uh, up, when on we stage, came up on you stage know, you know it was, it was, it was a good many, was a good many people, yeah, many people they're, they're talking about the next one they do next year at oh. sardis they're going to uh -huh. have uh, maybe more vendors like us there's more boats here than i don't know what i mean there's, yeah, every there's kind multiple rooms i don't know if you've walked around holy cow there's there's boats everywhere. There's campers there's outside, campers outside yeah. there's boats outside, yeah. and, outside, and, outside, and yeah, I'm probably yeah, looking I'm probably at, what, 30, 40, 40 50, 50 boats in here. Boats yeah, in here. I, I stopped at your booth. I was like, man, I need – I need this guy. He's got that cool orange boat to sponsor. Uh, yeah, that the Fishing Guide Podcast. Yeah. That, that would look good on the side of your you know, thing. I, I, you I tell everybody, you know, if I there. sponsored and done all the stuff all the, the pro yeah. staff guys want, it'd be over. Oh, it would be <laughs> over. Anyway, uh, that takes us to Tackle Time. Tackle Time yeah. sponsored by Pico Lures. Pico Lures has a complete line of hard and soft baits. So any kind of crappie fishing that you're looking to do out there, whether pulling crankbaits or uh, throwing like a pointer sad uh, soft plastic bait, they got them. Or if you're walleye fishing or striper fishing, bass fishing, they got it. They got bass heads. They got everything you're looking for. You can find them at picolures.com or they may have them in your local tackle shop. So check them out there. And, uh, John, if they want to go to social media and find out where all the cool oh, stuff is oh, on your boat, man. 
man. Just, uh, just all, all over all social, social media, media, any platform, platform, Facebook, Facebook uh, uh, you know, you know, what, TikTok, uh, TikTok uh, Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Is it John Harrison? John, John Harrison fishing. We're all over. We're all over. All right. And we're right. going to have demo days on Kentucky Lake, 11th, yeah. 12th, yeah. and 13th of April at the okay. Moors Resort, right. where people can bring their boat in, sit in their boat. We'll try on them out like you're trying on a pair of shoes, see what fits oh, nice. you the best. Uh, all okay. the pro staff will be there. We'll have a tournament, also a pro staff tournament. We got call outs going, going on. on. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, uh, Matt, Jeremy Matt, 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 he's there. Him and Joe Floyd, he's got his beard on the line. I think I've called that God. God will be there. Me and him going head to head. All the pro staff guys will be there. It'll be a good time. Okay, sounds good. Like I always liked in the show, make sure you keep your hook sharp and your lures in the water.